So today you're going to be learning how to make cinnamon leaves, cover up your cinnamon mold with lace and then couple it up to form this gorgeous cinnamon fascinator design. You can click the link above to learn how to mold with cinnamon. Before we proceed, click that subscribe button and the bell to receive notification of my new videos if you haven't done so. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for staying with me through even to this very video. So let's get moving. Now I'm going to do a quick run on how we started this. Remember it was in my last video. So if you didn't see this, how to cover the inside of the cinnamon mode, then you need to go to the previous video posted before this one all right i would put the link in the description below so this is what we went through last week all right let's get moving now we're going to be covering the top of the cinnamon so what you do is you put your b6000 or your uhu gum at the edges just close to where you stop that um the one on the inside and you then cover it up with the lace now when you cut in the lace you ensure that it's going to overlap now you can see i'm doing north south east and west that's the right way to cover so that you have a smooth finishing now i'm gathering it together can you see and i peg it yeah i'm going to do that also at the opposite corner i will grab it like so drag it a bit press it in so that it glues then peg so that's what i'm going to do to all the sides remember not south east and west first of all then you proceed okay keep watching and learning Okay, so we, I left it to dry for a while and now it's okay so I'm taking off the pegs and I'm going to use my scissors to cut it off close to where as in just where you put the gum then now it's time to put my bias some people make use of Peter Sham but I've always loved bias it kind of bends and follows you the way you want Peter Sham kind of gives me issues when bending so unless I need it I make use of bias all right so the next step is to make our cinnamon leaves so i took an artificial leaf that i have if you don't have you can just um form the shape draw it out somewhere also and i'm now cutting the leaf on my cinnamon i actually plan to use both um, cream and black but i didn't do that again use only the black the cream didn't follow now yes the thing i need to tell you the cinnamon draws at the bias so when you're cutting the leaf you will cut it on the bias now you would see why you cut it on the bias there's something that happens when you're folding so now i want to use this to cut another one watch i'm doing it on the bias not on the straight you know you have like horizontal and vertical lines you're not going to cut it on that you cut it diagonally i hope you understand just take note look at the picture of the cinnamon leaves very well you see then the next thing is i fold them you see how i'm folding you grab one part and you fold like that that's what i do and i'm going to be doing it twice as in this is the first step then i will do it again now why you do that or why i do that is because the edges if you leave it like that it will just be grabbing everything that it can you know find because it's sharp so when you fold it still has that tendency to do that so when you fold it twice it covers up the rough edges now if you like you can proceed further to iron it down and make it smooth and straight you can also roll if you want but i do folding i fold twice all right so that's what i'm doing and i'm taking it all the way around so keep watching and learning now once you fold it twice the next thing is you start drawing it at that place you folded can you see how it's bending and changing shape now if you didn't cut it on the bias it won't do nothing it will remain like that for you so remember cut it on the bias so now you can see how it's oh forming a lovely curved leaf shape all right then i twist the edge like so 
okay so i'm going to be doing it to different sizes small sizes big sizes and then we have this so this is what i have and i'm going to be joining them up to make kind of like a flower that i want to put on my cinnamon fascinator so watch how i sew it and learn as usual staying to the very end may just get you one class two class three classes or all the classes in the vent craft academy for free anyway i don't know what we have today you see it i know i'm not gonna tell you all right then let's keep learning okay we're done the next thing is to sew it on the cinnamon hot all right and that's what i'm doing like so have you given me a thumbs up have you liked this video no you didn't get this far without giving me a thumbs up okay calm down now just pause the video and let me know that you've liked what i've done so far thank you all right let's get back to okay so i had these balls that remain for some flowers that i made use of to make another fascinator and i decided to use it to cover up the sewing on the cinnamon leaves that form the flower okay now you see what will happen i'm using b6000 isn't it and it's falling out oh i had to go and get my uh -huh. i didn't want to use this because it's almost finished i have to squeeze squeeze very well to get it out <laughs> but now you see one of the reasons that i said that each gum has its um application for b6000 if you're using it on something you want to dry immediately um, immediately it will just be shifting out of base so the best is to use uhu or you use your candle gum but this flows perfectly with um uhu not b6000 so at least you get to see one of the reasons in the video that i put up i'll put the link down again and voila so a challenge today is what can you use to clean up gum stains on your fascinator you have to get my own answer 